Hello to all, and it is a wonderful spring day out, and I am going to meet my mother, and we are going to hear author Robert Morgan uh, speak today. Uh, I think it's like an hour-long, um, just little lecture on how he writes and his storytelling and that type of thing. He wrote Gap Creek, if you're not familiar, and short stories, well, a book on short stories like, what, the, um, These Mountains Won't Remember Us, something like that. I just finished reading it. I'll actually do a, um, probably with this vlog, I will do a synopsis and my review on that book. And then I have some errands to run after that. It feel, feels good to actually be out and about after my surgery. I've been cooped up in the house for a while, so I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog, but hopefully I'll be allowed to vlog in there and you'll get to hear part of his lecture. So let's go. So I'm feeling like I'm like the youngest here, which is really kind of cool. Okay guys, so I'm going to get him to sign Chasing the North Star. Not a, no not a long line, so that's great. was somewhat interesting. The beginning of the talk was more about his background, his writing, that type of thing. Then later it got into him reading certain poems or mostly poems, which I didn't particularly enjoy that. I don't like being read to. I was hoping to get more of his writing process, his ideas, his inspiration. And that's basically what my mother was looking for too, was inspiration. Where did his inspirations come from? But I do want to state that yes, I was the youngest one there, which was like so funny. And I even commented when I got him to sign my book, which I had not heard of this book. Uh, he actually, somebody had asked a question towards the end about the book because she had read it. And so he was kind of given a synopsis of the book. Ooh, it got dark because I got in the car. So he was kind of given a synopsis of the book. And I was like, ooh, that sounds very interesting. And luckily they had several of his books on sale there, which I totally forgot he wrote Boone. I have read, it was on Daniel Boone. And I read that one. I own it, but I totally forgot to bring it. But anyway, I bought this book and got him to sign it. And I did, he did, uh, I said something about being the youngest one there. And he says, yes, you most certainly were the youngest one, one here. So anyway, I will talk. The vehicle's very hot. So I'm not going to talk anymore about it. I will wait till I get home and give y'all um, an update, uh, kind of give y'all a review of the talk. I was not able to vlog him talking. And that was because the room was very quiet. And when I turn my camera on, it makes this very loud, like, beeping noise. So I did not want to interrupt his talk. Even though I was in the very back of the room, I didn't want to interrupt his talk and have everybody turn around and look at me because I turned a camera on that made this loud sound. That would kind of been rude. So I did not vlog. I did get one picture when he was talking with my cell phone, which isn't a wonderful picture, but I'll insert it here. Now for the review on the book that I had read and then just a little bit more about Mr. Morgan. So he had originally went to NC State, North Carolina State University, to study science and math, kind of a, basically um, aerospace engineering. And then after a while decided that that wasn't for him. He's transferred to UNC Chapel Hill, University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, and earned a BA in English. So then in the 80s and 90s, he started writing poetry and then went into short stories. Now, that is basically the book that I had read. I think I had mentioned earlier, I'm not sure, that I had went to the library a week before his talk to check out some books by him because um, I had totally forgotten I had, um, I had Boone written by him, but I also, his, his big, I guess his more famous book was Gap Creek, and I believe that was 
um, recommended. That was the book that was recommended by Oprah. Like it was on Oprah's reading list or whatever that is. But I had never read that book. Um, I had invited my mom to go and then she couldn't remember if she had read anything by him. So I had went to the library and I had checked out these two books. They're older books. Uh, the Mountains Won't Remember Us and Other Short Stories and The Hinterlands, uh, A Mountain Tale in Three Parts. So I gave both to my mom. I said, pick one. So she had picked this one. So I went ahead and read this one. We finished these books in a week. And we both basically had the same thoughts on his short stories. First of all, if you did not know, he writes basically a lot of folklore, that type of thing, because that's what he grew up with. You know, he didn't grow up with TV. He grew up with a lot of family that were storytellers. So basically, that's what he turned into, a storyteller. What we both liked about the books was he wrote exactly how mountain people talk. That was great. What we really didn't like was he, he repeats himself a lot. I, I don't know, my mom was under the impression, oh, it's like he's repeating it to fill up the pages to make a book. I don't necessarily think that's true. I think it's unconsciously done, but he does re say basically the same things over and over, basically in the exact words, especially when he's describing something or somebody's talking, they're going to say the same things over and over. The storylines are good. They're, they're authentic. They're things that would, that basically are based off things that happened. Now, these are based off of mostly Henderson County, North Carolina, because that is the area that he grew up in. So it's really neat to read these things and know exactly where everything is, because he's talking about these certain areas, these certain roads, these creeks, and to live in that area and know those those places is really unique. And, and you know, anybody that reads a local, something local where they live or where they have lived, it's kind of just this comforting, like, you're there more. You can put yourself in the story a little better. So anyway, that, that's what he writes. But they abruptly end. Bam, they're done. And it's like, whoa, wh why would you end there? He remembers when the bookmobile, y'all need to comment below if you were one of those that remember a bookmobile come into your town. He said it was like this old utility truck. And he just was thrilled when the bookmobile came around because he lived in a rural area. They couldn't necessarily get to a library. He actually grew up. Um, he mentioned reading like the Little House on the Prairie books, which was really neat because I grew up reading. And he's a lot older than me, by the way. Just want to note that. Um, but I did grow up reading Little House on the Prairie books. Of course, Nancy Drew books. Uh, yeah, Hardy Boys. Yep, those were kind of the books I, I grew up with. So his dad was a history buff, he said, and he grew up telling, you know, stories. And he said, he remember his dad told the stories as if they were true because his dad always said, well, it's not like you're going to go and read a child. You're, it's not like you're going to go up to a child and said, hey, I'm going to tell you a folklore, a folk tale. Um, no, you just tell the story. So you tell the story as if it is totally true. He is working on a new book, if you are curious. It has to do with women of the frontier. He's doing a lot of research on Native American Indians. And, of course, that's going into the book. So that is probably one I would definitely read. At the end, he had asked people, you know, are there any questions? So one woman had asked about, had mentioned his book, the newest book, Chasing the North Star. And it is about, may I just tell you, okay. Best-selling author Robert Morgan brings to vivid life the story of a runaway slave, Jonah Williams, who in 1851 on his 18th birthday flees to South Carolina plantation on which he was born. He takes with him only a few stolen coins, a knife, the clothes on his back, no shoes, no map, no clear idea of where, where to head except north. 
following a star that he prays will be his guide. Chasing the North Star is grounded in historical fact as the story follows teenage Jonah, an angel, who, and Angel, a slave who sees Jonah as her path to freedom. Through narrow escapes in a fearsome world, ultimately it is the celebration of the triumphant human spirit from an acclaimed master storyteller. This book was actually inspired from Little Willie, as he was known. Little Willie was a boy that Robert Morgan's grandparents actually took in. And he did. He passed away when a tree fell on him. Now, I don't know if something like that happens in this book or not. I can't remember if he says. And I also don't remember how old he said when the tree fell on him. I don't know if it was he was actually a teenager or a young adult. I'm not sure. But this Jonah Williams is kind of based, the, the inspiration for him, for him came from Little Willie. I was very intrigued by hearing about this book and I thought, yep, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get it. I, I prefer hardbacks, but this is what I ended up with. And he, uh, you know, first I'm talking to him, he automatically turns it to this page and signs. I guess that's where they all sign because I had actually turned it to this page and had handed it to him like this. And he automatically uh, turned it to here, which I guess makes sense because that's where his name is. And then I said, well, I need you to personalize it, please. And, oh no, this is the page I originally um, turned it to. So I said, I need you to personalize it, please. I turned it back to this page for him. And if you look closely, what does that say? the book sniffer for a minute i couldn't tell if he wrote for the book sniffer or the book sniffer but he wrote the book sniffer initials and april 2017 so i thought that you know i had to do it people so um this this won't be my next read i have got so many books to read not right now because of just people had given me so many books for when I was recuperating, well, I'm still recuperating from my surgery, and I will do a vlog on all the books that I have, I will be reading, because my recovery will probably be to six weeks, and we're in week, like, three, three, we're in week three right now. Um, no way, do I have three more weeks? Has it been three weeks? It had, today, actually, is exactly three weeks since my surgery. So, I don't know if it's going to be three more weeks. I think maybe two more weeks, hopefully, I'll be uh, back up to my, my normal schedule and the things I normally do. But I will be doing a vlog on all the books that I have read. And I have read quite a few so far. And not all of them are short. But anyway, I hope that um, if you're not familiar with Rob Robert Morgan, you are now. If you haven't read Gap Creek, like I said, one of his most famous, check that out. Or if you like history, Boone. Now, Boone is a thick book. It's probably about this thick. Um, then that would be a really great, and it's Daniel Boone, really great book to read. But anyway, so I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to know any books by Robert Morgan that you have read, and have you ever heard a, another author speak? This is the first time I've actually, I went to book signings, but never heard an author speak. So if you've been to any, please comment below and let me know who, and into the next page.